Hello, hello, hello everybody, and welcome to episode 2 of my Oxygen Not Included Let's Play, I guess. Um, so I didn't really explain well last episode. Um, we're playing a mod called the Bartor World Generation mod, and it was created as like a more challenging experience, I guess. Um, so as I said in the last episode, things are a bit crazy and weird, and that's the whole point. Um, anyway, what are we doing today? Um, well, last episode we got everything nicely set up, we did some exploring. I can't zoom out any further, which is a shame, but oh well. Um, we found out there's a natural gas geyser here, there's a cool steam vent here. Um, we got all of the water, and my goodness, there was so much water. Um, down in here. We're gonna get this out in here next um, once we've got our little heat shield in. I'm actually gonna do that there and to facilitate that we're gonna dig this out and cancel these. So we want to dig that out so we can let them in here to build up this and there's a nice little geezer down here. Um, I'm going to, what's around it? I'm going to take a guess at what this might be. It's four wide, so it's a volcano of some sort, or like a liquid geyser, like, I don't know, carbon dioxide or salt water or something like that. Um, I'm going to say, given that nothing's easy in this mod, hot carbon dioxide, no, just carbon dioxide. The hot carbon dioxide vents look like this. Alright, let me keep going. So, what are we up to today? Got a few things. First and foremost, let's put in a microbe musher. And that, and a wire. Um, and we'll actually get him to do that right now, like first off the bat, uh, because it'll make our food production a lot more worthwhile. Um, it basically doubles the amount of calories, so each meal would individually gives us 600 calories, and once they're turned into lice loaf, they're 1200 calories, and it's just for a little bit of power. So I think that's a worthwhile cost. Um, secondly, we're going to deal with a few things here. Research complete. One moment. I've been distracted. We're still... Okay, we're looking up bathrooms. Which is something that I'm looking at doing. Alright. Um, a few other things I want to do. We want to get this water here in here, as I said. We're going to put up this heat shield around the cool steam vent. Um, Depending on whether this goes dormant by the time I get to it, if it doesn't, I'm going to just seal this off right here. Um, if it doesn't, uh, sorry, if it does go dormant, we're going to go in there and put a full on like this around it. Um, now, whilst, uh, what's his name, Harold? Yeah, whilst Harold's down here um, putting in the heat shield, I'm actually going to start. Looking at a hatch farm, as I mentioned, I wanted to save. there's one hatch here, and there's one hatch there. There he is, look at that little guy. And I'm going to actually start and look an egg, which is perfect. How? 18%. So at 5% a cycle, that's 80, that's 14 cycles, and I've got to have a place for the hatches to go. Um, so if we have a quick look around, um, I'm thinking here's a good spot. I need a 9 by 11 space for them. Um, so we're going to let this tick along and have a think about it extra. So what I need, um, um, I need this much space. Um, so I need, as you can see here, 9 across, 11 up, and off to one side here, I'm going to have a little hatching room. Uh, so, maybe I'll put it on this side. 
Here-ish. I do want to keep this mealwood here for now. Here might be a good spot, actually. What's the temperature like up here? Quite nice. Okay. Here is where it is going to go. So we need... 3 plus 9 is 12, plus 1 in between, plus a wall, plus a wall. That there. So this is what the footprint's gonna be. Unfortunately I can't undo that because I'm a fool. Alright, let's get Harold to mop this up real fast, and then we can have- not Harold, um, Rowan. And then we can have a better think about it. He's burrowed in there. Buddy, get out of there. Gosh, look at these little guys. It's hot in there. And... Rowan... Also needs to tidy. Ah, uh, Ren's asleep, that's why it is. Alright, let's speed this up for a tick. You splendid man. Forever. Now, um, part of what will make this work a bit better, I'll zoom out so it's quieter, is we go to the consumables tab here and we tell them they're not allowed to eat lice loaf anymore. Um, I'm also going to turn off all the medicine for now. Uh, that'll just make them only eat lice loaf. And we need someone who can cook. Um, now another thing is, before we can put bathrooms in, we need a water sieve. Um, this is because plain water goes into the bathroom and polluted water comes out. And the sieve, as you can see there, turns polluted water into water. And we have an abundance of sand. Um, so that's not something we need to worry about at the moment. I'm playing a mini base and let me tell you, that is rough on sand. Alright, Ren is going to farm, research supply, and then mop. Okay. I can tolerate that. So this here, you can see what they're doing, um, as I mentioned last time. So right now he's supplying for the research, so he needs dirt to take down here. Uh, and then he's going to put this water bottle away, and then he's going to mop all this up. So isn't that nice? Um, now, the raisin, the ration box is down here, um, as you can see, whilst it is unrefrigerated, which means that food will spoil, um, it's in a sterile atmosphere, so chlorine and carbon dioxide will make the atmosphere sterile, um, and that stops food spoiling, which is a pretty neat little trick. Um, it's a little bit out of the way for them to go get food to eat, but I think... Whoa! -oh. I think it's worthwhile. It is rather warm down here, isn't it? Okay. That needs to happen. Now, keep in mind, this water is quite cold and it's rather warm in here. Um, so when I dump the water in, it's going to cool that down quite quickly and handily. There's a hatch in here somewhere. Yeah, there he is. Um, look, these two hatches we will probably find more... ...eventually. Um, like these buried ob objects can sometimes be hatches. Alright, Harold's doing okay. He's at the end of his day, so... These guys are going to mop this all up, and then I can start looking at the hatch farm. Cancel that one. Uh, sometimes they get stuck in a bad loop with water physics. See how he's only picking up a few grams at a time? Because the water keeps flowing into the space there. Um, 
It requires a bit more maintenance, but well worth it sometimes. There are many little things that like micromanaging. Alright, I'm gonna leave that up to him now. So, now that that's all sorted out, ah, excellent. We're going to dig that there, and these get a priority of nine. So this water, uh, now I should add, we're not going to dig that there, we're going to dig this one first. And just to make sure, I'm cutting it off so we can't dig that out yet. So he can sort that out for now. And we're going to think about a hatch farm. So we want tiles. So we can pop it right here. Uh, we need wall. Three wall. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And there's the outer wall. And that needs, um, so when you are farming animals or anything, um, except for puffs, but we'll come up to them later, um, each animal needs 12 tiles individually. Um, and in a ranch, so if we look up here, we're going to be making a stable. And you can see the maximum size there can be 96 tiles, which comes up to either eight normal critters or six puffs. Um, all right. One, that's 11 by nine there. Like that. All right. And the reason I want it... Sorry, I've gone too many across. I want it that many across. And then three there. And then there's eight, sorry, nine across. And then 11 high. And I just cannot count today. All right, there we go. I'm going to put them on a priority of two for now. Because I need Harold to do this first. There we go. So he's going to dig this out. Okay, printable, real quick. Do I take on another duplicate? If I do, it'll mean I need another bathroom and another sink. Um, I... Like, this is a reasonably good duplicate. But I don't like that he has low strength. Who can say no to that face? Stinky. Schedule. Alright, and I'd like to get them on the new schedule as soon as possible. Actually, cancel that one. Um, and I need to go priorities as well whilst I'm here. So Stinky's just shown up, and he is our main farmer now and that's all he's gonna do and he's also gonna be allowed to ranch um, he can do some supplying and storing um, but aside from that I don't want him doing a lot um, he can do whatever needs doing in the meantime and hopefully this bathroom will get done before they aha there goes the water all right Ren is up Look at him go. Alright. We have no water at the moment, but that's fine. Harold. 
my dude. I see. Okay. Food. I don't have any of the... Alright. So that's, um... This for the moment. Now. Four. So on the fifth one... That goes there. Um, so this is going to be an auto sweeper, so I can reach all of this down here. Um, which means it can reach up to here. And then if we want... This is going to be the door. Two, three, four. Like this. We're going to have a floor here. Actually, I might shuffle that down one, because this floor is already here. Right. Keep in mind this is all a priority of two. Um, doors here, which means there's a another door there. Like that. And then we're going to have an auto sweeper in here, a critter drop off and the hatching thing there. And the auto sweeper up here will be able to see through pneumatic doors um, and use the um, it's some shipping stuff which hasn't shown up yet because it is way, way, way up here. Somewhere. Where is it? There it is. So we need this auto sweeper here um, and these conveyor loaders and such. And I've got to figure out what order we're going to research things in, but we're going to do this first because we need bathrooms. <gasps> what oh skills uh oh oh he's nearly there now stinky likes a lot of things rowan likes cooking do we want to settle with rowan being our cook it doesn't particularly matter like as long as he's the only one allowed to cook Yes, okay. And Stinky? Um, I'm gonna give him that one. Because it's generally useful. And that ensures... Ooh! Extra hatch. That's nice to see. Um, and we want both of these high priority because we don't want these out of order. I can stay on priority five. Um, Abyssalite doesn't give a lot of heat off. Um, okay, so if we look here under properties, um, it has specific heat capacity and thermal conductivity. As you can see, the thermal conductivity, if we read this bit here, um, it'll transmit less heat. Um, whereas the heat capacity is how much energy is required to heat that object up, if that makes sense. Whoop. Good going. Now I could cheat and bump this up to an emergency priority and see what it is, but I'm not going to do that. Oh, there's bleach stone up here. Look at that, it's so cold the carbon dioxide is liquefied. And because it's so cold, the sleet wheat won't grow, and there's no atmosphere. Well, there's barely any atmosphere. What is that squeaking? There's something in there. I don't know if I like that. That's okay, we can deal with it. Um, now, if we have a quick check of the temperature, see that cold water's come in here and it's actually dropped the temperature of this quite a lot. We're going to drop a bit more coolish water in there. Corium. There's some things here that are like, I've never seen the textures for. Like this one, for example. And clay. You alright? 
Um, now we are going to have to start dealing with a little bit of this carbon dioxide at the very least, which is this here, this carbon skimmer. Um, and I think that's what I'll go for next. Whoops. Oh, I love that. Look at that asteroid. <laughs> Look how upset that pip is. <gasps> wow. Okay. And if there's an auto sweeper there, that leaves it one, two, three, four, two, three, two, three, four. So it can go here. Okay, that's good. Otherwise, I could stick it one more over in here. Might actually do that. Move the ladder over one. Uh, you better be sleeping, Harold. Oh, you're socializing. Okay, we can tolerate that. Um, now we want just cleaning. Make that a bit more important. Might go up this way next. We will have to do that soonish though. There's so much carbon dioxide in there as well. Like that's going to be fantastic for power. <gasps> oh, boo! When did that happen? I can't believe. Ah. Now that at least they're not eating it, I suppose. This is part of the reason why I didn't go for bristle berries, bristle blossoms. Um, they require water, and if there's germs in the water, then they can get sick. All right, I'm gonna speed this up again. Let them do some work. So this is all set up here for later, and I'm also super excited about this um, helium. I've never seen it before. It doesn't spawn in the normal game. Um, but it is, a, I understand a particularly good gas that, like for heat stabilization or something like that, or like insulation. And I'm trying to do the bit up here. All right. Get that going, um, and then I should should do the liquid reservoir, but I think I won't. Um, we're going fine on that. Now I should put a bathroom in. And where should I do that? I could do it right here. Um, I don't. I don't want to risk getting too close. I could just put it in back in the same spot, actually. Um, but I want to also leave a bit of room in between things so I can run wires and all sorts of piping, whatever needs doing. So much carbon dioxide down here. Maybe I should dig into here, let some of this oxygen out. Hiya, Ellie. We're going to eeny, meeny, miny, moe. Should do field research um, because that'll be more useful and it'll make her quicker at... Yeah, we're going to do that actually because we have the morale. Like, she gets two and two for her break and because she, she gets the one because she's alive, she gets one... Okay, yep, that's good for now. Could even put the toilets right here. Um, but I think I won't, because I'll need, um, also in the future, another thing that I will have access to are these, here, um, exosuits, so, or atmosuits, right? Um, and what that will give me is, like, what it sounds like pretty much um just a little astronaut suit for them to run around in ah can't believe you do this to me game jeez that's all pretty warm down there we don't want them running around on top of the abyssalite either that's pretty hot shoot down here 
I know it's a good idea to put the hatch thing right there, but we're gonna do it anyway. I should really shunt it over one side or something. Actually, yeah, I should really do that. And I also want to put a door in there. Just trust me. Um, so making rooms is a useful thing. See, that gives you barracks, which gives you a morale bonus. Um, washrooms also give morale bonuses. Okay, he's got that done. Super! Um, I might put my carbon dioxide management down here. So when I get into petroleum, I'm actually... Oh, the zombie spores in there too. Dang it. Okay. Hmm. Time to have a good solid think. Um, what is beneficial to us next? I need better power. And we can... Actually, I should go this way. Um, if we're really lucky, we'll get a duplicant that will allow us to handle, like, critters, uh, that'll have critter ranching as a predetermined trait, um, but I'm not going to bank on it. So, hmm... Okay, change my mind. We're going to do this automation wire first. Because um, once that's done, we will be able to control the heat a lot better. Uh, not heat, sorry. Our coal and power usage. Do I have clear new? Oh, I do, right there. 20 tons. Um, does that mean there's coal that I guess that I can dig up around here? So all of this is probably going to end up part of the base around here. Um, possibly even up to here, but unlikely. Pause that right there. Um, so the reason I want this automation wire when it comes up um, to run the, 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 the thingy, the thingy, carbon skimmer, properly I want to be able to tell it to only operate in order to save power and water and all sorts um, and also to keep my ration box in carbon dioxide I only want it to operate when there is carbon dioxide around it and when there's a certain amount of carbon dioxide because the gas in here see the gas here is only 800 grams but over here there's a thousand grams um and it's slowly pushing it'll slowly push its way this way as long as my duplicates aren't breathing at all speaking of we're going to need another oxygen diffuser very shortly because it can only produce 500 grams a second and each duplicate consumes uh 100 grams a cycle um, or this, you know, so this is only enough oxygen for five duplicates. Um, I'll actually put the other one up here. Um, but the more oxygens on top will push this carbon dioxide down. Um, and I only want this to operate when it's actually going to work, you know? Um, now we want plumbing here or here could go under nah no 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 I need a kitchen and storage space as well um, is Harold asleep yes we will put it here all right bathroom. I'm gonna need two toilets, two sinks, like that. Sinks will go there and there. Um, and then we're gonna have 
outlets here. Like that. Um, I could just put the refinement, you know, this water sieve down the back here. So I'd have that, a water tank. Now which way does the in and out go on the water tank? Let me check. I have no internet. Um, I suppose I'll just have to deal with it. Alright, so something we're going to have to do is dig up some more igneous rock whenever we can find it. Um, and here's actually a good spot to do so. As is right here, because it's closer. What does this drop? Okay, it drops igneous rock. Okay, Oop, and pause. We have another printable. I will take the hatchling this time. And put all this construction down a bit. And these ones are the priority once this is finished. Um, we're doing much better on this temperature front. See, that's... Ooh, we got in there just in time, in my opinion. Uh, now, how did that hot dirt get in there? Oh, he was taking hot dirt up here. Um, that we will have to just keep an eye on in case. Um, they're going to take any dirt they can up here. And in fact, I'm going to dig that up just to make sure there's some cooler dirt up here. And we'll have to dig this out as well. Might take this out. We might even need to get into the sludge press. Okay. That's that done. And I knew that would get done pretty quickly. We're really banging along now. I'm going to take the liquid reservoir next. Because it really does help out when running this circuit in here. There's going to be a door there. And then we're going to have a water tank. One, two, three, four there for the sieve. And then we want the water sieve there. All right, let them keep working. And it goes into the sink there. And it'll come... There's one there and one there, and I can't remember which one's which. Which one's the input and which one's the output, you know? Ooh, just a moment. Sorry about that. May 3D print finish 3D printing. <laughs> um, I cannot unfortunately put a do door in there. Sorry about that. I cannot put a door in there, but that's tolerable. Someone has a skill. It is Ren. We are going to give him that skill. All right, Harold's down here doing his work. Good on you, Harold. All right, once this is in, we can remove this and something else can go here. We're going to need something better than just farms soon, though. I wish I could suppress these notifications, but unfortunately that mod is out of date. Okay, Harold. Go, my son. Woo! Now the water's going into the last... Yeah, so I need someone who can cook soon. Um, Rowan can actually cook. Alright, so the next thing that we're doing after this is going to be this one. But uh, actually, we're going to do it right now. So that we can stop relying. Stinky. Alright, food poisoning means that they need to go to the bathroom more often. That's fine. It's just a bit of a time loss for us, unless you can't access the toilet. But we're good. Now, you can get rid of these germs, uh, but you need chlorine for that. And there is some bleach stone up here. Um, but I'm... Is that melting? Hmm... A little bit. Might be worth plugging this up. Alright. That was very 
speedy, power, finish the this one, and then we go for power. And between this episode and next, I will make a... <gasps> Look at that guy. I've never seen a shine bug morph. What, what, what makes them... Uh, actually, sorry, I lie. I have seen some of these normal ones, but like these weird ones. What do you mean? What, what makes them... Hmm. I don't know is the answer. Hmm. I'm, I'm worried these slicksters are going to die pretty soon because they need carbon dioxide to breathe. This guy will be fine. Look at him. Jeez, he's got... Whew. So much. Aha! This is what we need. Alright. It is too big to be a literary. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's fair enough. We'll come back to it. Yeah, it's hot. I know, I know, I know. It's hot, 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 hot down here. But we'll be out of it soon. Oh, that was all sand, of course. And once this is done, oh boy, we are sorted. We are golden. And I might... <sighs> Just might crack into some of this polluted ox. Ah, oh, free crude oil. Goodness me, there's so much stuff down here. So it'll be worth looking down here to see what we can get. There's an awful lot of polluted oxygen, um, which would be nice to crack open, but I'll need, you know, car uh, oxygen depolluter skimmer things, deodorizers. <laughs> um, and I'll need them set up well in advance. So we're actually going to start, we'll put these on a low priority, one, two, three, four, five, um, and deodorizers to go with them. Like that, okay, and research, last thing. Uh, power. I'm, I'm skipping a few things to go straight to smart batteries because one I have, uh oh, that's a shame. Uh, now, I was, sorry, halfway through something, clear new seal. Uh, we have 18 tons of refined lead. And that will give me, like, power. <laughs> and hopefully, this will get done quickly. Liquid reservoir. Okay, outputs at the bottom. Um, so that'll go in and then out that way. Like that. That's an awful lot of water. I might have to, once this gets down a bit, I'll probably have to drop it out there. Are you going up to breathe? You are. This is why it's taking so long. Who's suffocating? Oh, Harold is. Poor guy. Rowan's got a skill point. He can have more cooking, because that is his entire job. And we are still researching something? Yes, we are. Um, if I... which I don't. I was going to say if I have a good supply of slime. I could grow mushrooms. There's something over here that's off-gassing. Okay. We have a few more things we can research now. 
Now we can get into the critter, critter ranching. Might just go straight through to there. Um, I can I can actually hold off on this electrolyzer, which is the main way we generate oxygen later on. Uh, but this polluted oxygen down here will be really useful. Um, so I'm going to install all these uh, deodorizers, and then I'm just going to let it, like, I'm just going to dig down here and let it go. Um, it'll just displace. And when that goes in, I'm actually going to do that. But first, some oxalite. I'm not going to take another dupe. Maybe next time, but not right now. Oh no, he has no breath. That's no good. Ah, it's because he's injured. Perhaps I should let someone else build as well. Stinky. For one day, you are allowed to build. Alright, he's going. No, he's not. He's building this first. Fair enough. Yeah, Harold uh, isn't allowed. Sorry, Harold can't get down there quick enough to do it. Um, once. Do I have a triage cut? Yes, I do. Um, I'm gonna confine Harold to bed rest. Uh, Harold. <laughs> Get over there. Alright, smart batteries. One, two, three, four. See, like, look how well that's contained the heat. Yeah, it's hot down here, but, like, now it's, like, this is a hundred or so. Remember, it was quite red, even around here. Mm. Uh, this will let the air out. I'm digging this extra wide as well, because it'll let the air out better. Uh, now, it will ruin my you know, CO2 down here, but um, I think it's worth it. Uh, this needs to get done first. Alright, once this is done, I think that's going to be it for today. It's been quite a while for me. But hopefully you found that useful. Hydroponic farm will be useful. These farm tiles. In fact... Um... Rude. Uh, what I want was the food. These farm tiles. Save space over the planters. Come on, Stinky. Catch your breath. Get it done. Come on, Stinky. No pressure. Anyway, guys. I'd like to thank you all for being with me here for so long. Sorry for clapping right in front of the mic. Um, hopefully the sound was a little bit nicer than yesterday, but I understand if it's not. I think my microphone has a bit of a whine. Um, anyway, as it is, thanks for being here, and I'll <laughs> catch you guys in the next one. Bye!